Today's video is going to be for all my ladies out there. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to remove piercing earrings with nails. I see you guys in the comments saying, oh, but I can't do this with nails. How do you do it? I can say that you can do a lot with nails. People make it seem like it's impossible to do things with nails, but removing piercing earrings and even opening up necklaces are two things that can be a little bit trickier. There is a little bit of a learning curve and I know this from working in jewelry and piercing ears. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to remove piercing earrings and I'm also going to be sharing with you guys how to open up necklaces with nails because there is a trick to it. If you guys are new, welcome to the piercing outlet. My name is Christina. If you guys want to learn more about piercings and jewelry, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. So when I first started working in jewelry and I got my nails done for the first time, it seemed like impossible to figure out for one, how to remove piercing earrings and two, how to open up necklaces. I think opening up necklaces was harder than removing piercing earrings. So let me show you how to do it. So I'm first going to show you guys how to open up a necklace with nails. Now keep in mind I am right handed. So I have the clasp facing the right hand side. I'm going to use this part of my finger right where the skin and the nail meet. That is what I'm going to use to open up the necklace. So using my left hand, well my left nail to be exact, I'm going to use that to hold the necklace in place, like hold the split ring so that way I can use my other hand to open up the clasp and just take out the other half of the necklace so that way I can unhook it. So I first want to show you guys how it's done without nails, just using my regular fingers. I'm using my thumb and my pointer finger on each hand, putting one on the front, one hand on the back, and pulling in opposite directions. That is the key. So before we grabbed it like this, I can't even do it with nails, but you don't want to do that with nails because you're going to end up hurting your nails and your ear. So you have to use this part of your finger when you are removing piercing earrings, whether it be the safety back or the butterfly type of piercing earring. So you grab the back, you grab the front, okay? Just like this, and then you pull. Now it is a little bit trickier because remember there's going to be an ear in the middle and with nails I have found that I have pinched people with them but that's the trick on how to do it with nails. You kind of have to like put your fingers sideways because that's how you're going to use more pressure. So I also want to show you guys how to open up a cartilage earring if you're pierced at like a tattoo shop. More than likely they pierce you with a labret which has the flat back. So again, you want to hold the front using your pointer finger and your thumb. And for the front piece, you want to use your pointer finger and your thumb, but these more than likely screw off. So I'm turning the back in this case, whatever is easier. Um, and I'm just holding this piece in my finger. You'll notice that you might have more wiggle room in the front, maybe more wiggle room in the back. It really depends on the person's ear, but that is how I removed it. Don't mind these, these are press-ons. I'm gonna leave some more videos right here so that way you guys can learn more about removing piercing earrings if you guys are having a hard time. Also, be sure to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss any videos. I would love to know, comment below what your favorite nail color to get is. These are actually press-ons because I can't get my nails done during the quarantine. I've wanted to do this video for so long because I see you guys in the comments talking about, oh, but I can't do this with nails. So here we are. I finally did this video. Please, if you find it helpful, give this video a thumbs up.